All right, let's get into the gameplay, guys. So, 3v3 tag fighter. The character intros look sick. Oh, that was a bit cheap. Let's go back. So, Crow Picker did like a dive kick. And then obviously he crossed over to the other side. So I don't know if those kind of mixes will be in this game. But it's looking promising. That could be cheap. Alright, so we saw how he tagged in his soaker there. So just of how they're moving, you can already see this is more like Marvel style gameplay than Dragon Ball Fighters. Most of the people on my channel would have come from Fighters. So as you can see, the air dashing, the super jumps, it's not as fast as Fighters it seems, but it's still fast. Do you know what I mean? It's just not Dragon Ball Fighters fast, but it still looks good. Ah, that was a sick combo. Ah, that was sick. I can't even lie. That was kind of sick. Let's go back. So he did it into a level 3. Look at the bottom right. You'll see Killua uses the 3 bars. So I'm assuming that's his level 3. Now let's pause it here, um, let's go back a bit as well. If you look at the overgear bar where Netero is right, why is that green but Killua's one is blue? Does the colour mean that there's a different property? I don't know. We're going to have to find out more about the whole overgear system. It may be similar to Sparking or X Factor, I'm not sure. But we'll find out as more information is given to us about the game. Okay, now it's on fire. Oh, I think the ultimate whiffed. Alright, so obviously, like fighters, guys. It doesn't go back to neutral when you kill a character. It's more like Marvel. So you can obviously get like incoming mix-ups and stuff like that, which is good for those who love mix and love that style of gameplay. You don't go back to neutral after you kill a character. So we'll check it again. Look at how Leorio comes in after they kill Netero. Oh, he's just getting cheesed out. Okay, I think I understand. So I think when you're when you're down to two characters, the overgear bar changes color. So I think if you have all three characters, it starts off blue, then it goes to green, and then I think you have one left. Maybe it changes to another color. I'm not sure. And then when you use it, you get the fire, and it goes down. Okay, so this is the character select screen. This looks clean, man. So we'll have 16 characters. On release, it seems.
And these are the bottom controls. Okay. Light, medium, heavy. And I don't know what that stands for. You have the arts, the assists. Look at the different colors as well. Oh, they got some good colors, man, but only four. We need more colors. But so far, so good. No complaints from me. The game is looking very promising. So I'm guessing, hopefully, they add maybe some Phantom Troop characters. You know, characters from the Ant Arc, Pito, Meruem. We'll see, we'll see. But I need Crollo base roster, I can't lie. Okay, so that's how you choose your your point, mid and anchor characters like that. Ah, oh, this map looks good. Oh, we're seeing some Hisoka gameplay, yeah? I like how they just fly in when you tag in your character. A what? When Gon did his Janken Rock, right? You can see when he goes in the air and he does it down. It reminds me of Bar Bardock's Downward Lariat. Is this Bardock reincarnated? Are we back? That used one bar. What? Oh, he crossed him up. What was that? Wait. What killer would just did there, yeah? It looks like you can get some setups of stuff like that, you know? This game might be cooking, man. What is this? You might be able to get a setup of this. Oh, he has an install. Oh, that's sick. Let's check that again. How many bars? Like it was a bar. Quick gear. Okay.
I feel like the graphics will improve over time. It's not the best right now, but... Oh yeah, that extension is sick. What? Okay, so if you look carefully, I'll pause it at the right time. Hisoka does something to tag Gon, and Gon starts lighting up um, pink, right? Obviously, the bungee gun. So once he tags you, it's like it's on you. He's able to pull you in. I don't know if he can do that on block as well, but we saw it on, you know, mid combo. You see, he tags him. Look at Gon. So I think maybe even on block, he can pull you in once he tags you. And it can lead to some messed up mix-ups. But obviously mid-combo, he can use the bungee gum to pull him back in and continue the combo. Okay, it looks like it, it went on to the next character. Wait, what? Alright, so he tags him when he comes in and then he's tagged. Oh, his soak is looking kind of strong. He gets okay after that. He's spamming the hell out of that move, boy. So just from like a movement standpoint, look carefully at Killua, you can see he's super jumping. And the super jump goes very, very high. So it's nice to see that we have those kinds of movement options in this game. Obviously it's expected, but look how high his super jump goes. He's jumping high. So Killua has a lariat as well, it seems. Ah, this combo is sick. Into level 3. Oh, he got Oki okay after that as well. Yeah, his Soka's looking kind of... Bro, listen. Okay, over gear. What did that do? Right. I don't know if this is a Netero specific thing. When he popped the over gear, he lost some health. So I don't know if that's like a defensive thing on his part or if that's a mechanic, I'm not sure. When we get more information, we'll go into that. But he lost some health and then managed to stop Killua's attack whilst he was blocking and punished him. That did, that did a lot of damage.
This guy moving like Gotenks. What? Look at Gon. Gotenks? Well, that's it from me, guys. Well, the gameplay that we've seen has been amazing. The graphics look good, although I do think they're going to improve it, so there shouldn't be any worries there. And yeah, man, looking very promising for Nen Impact so far. As always, I'll try my best to keep you guys updated with the game. Please like, comment and subscribe as it helps the algorithm and makes the channel grow. And I'll catch you guys next time. Safe.